OK, in this question, we're given two points on the diameter of a circle and we're asked to find the equation of that circle. So to start with, we'll consider the fact that these two points are on the diameter. And that means that the centre must be right in between those two points, as in it must be the midpoint. So we'll start by finding the midpoint of our two coordinates. And to do that, we add the x coordinates together. So we've got minus 2 plus 4. And then we divide that by 2. And we add the y coordinates together. So that will be 6 plus minus 2. So 6 minus 2 divided by 2. That gives us 1, 2. That means our centre must be at 1, 2. Now that we know the centre, we also need to find the radius. So to find the radius, we can consider the fact that the radius is half the length of the diameter. And so if we find the distance between our two coordinates, we can just half that and get the radius. So the length of the diameter, we can use the distance formula to find the distance between these two coordinates. So we're going to do the difference between the x coordinates, all squared, so minus 2 minus 4 all squared. It doesn't actually matter which way round you do this calculation as long as you're consistent. So if I do first x coordinate minus second x coordinate, I have to do first y coordinate minus second y coordinate. So in this case, 6 minus minus 2 just becomes 6 plus 2 all squared. So minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. Square root we get 36. 6 plus 2 squared is 64, so we've got 36 plus 64, which gives us a square root of 100, which is 10. So if the length of the diameter is 10, it means the radius must be 5. So now let's consider what we know. We know the centre of a circle is at 1, 2, the radius is 5, that means we can just write down the equation of the circle. We're going to get x minus the x coordinate of the centre, which is 1, all squared, plus y minus the y coordinate, which is 2, all squared, equals the radius squared, which is 25. So just to recap, if we're given two coordinates on the diameter of a circle, we can use those coordinates to find the centre and radius and then put those values into the equation for the circle. OK, in this example we've got two points on the diameter of a circle and we're going to find the equation of that circle. So, like in the last example, we'll first consider the two points on the circle and we'll say the centre must be the midpoint of those two points. So the midpoint, we get by adding the coordinates together and dividing by 2. So x coordinates added together is minus 4 plus 12. Divide that by 2. y coordinates, we've got 18 plus 6. Divide that by 2. So we're going to get 8 over 2, which is 4. And 24 over 2 which is 12. So our centre is at 4, 12. Now that we know the centre, we'll consider the radius by first finding the diameter. So the diameter is the length of a line between these two coordinates. So we've got a big square root, and we'll do the difference between the x coordinates. That's going to be minus 4, minus 12, and we'll square that. And then we've got the difference between the y coordinates, that's 18 minus 6, and we'll square that. So this gives us the square root of 16 squared plus 12 squared. 16 squared is 256, 12 squared is 144. Add those together, you get the square root of 400, which is 20.
So now we know the diameter is 20, we can say the radius is 10. Now that we've got the center and the radius, we can write down the equation of a circle. We're going to get x minus the x coordinate of the center, which is 4, all squared, plus y minus the y coordinate of the center, all squared, equals the radius squared, which is 100. So there's the equation of a circle that goes through these two points.